Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. So it's been a while we did not do any videos in our Think and Design in GCP video series. I thought of doing something today. So uh, in today's video, the question is something like this. The DevOps team has made a mistake of using Compute Engine Default Service account. When they created a virtual machine, they created it with a Compute Engine Default Service account. And because of which they are not able to copy a file or an object from this virtual machine into Google Cloud Storage bucket. Uh, and since it's a production instance, they cannot stop it. Now you as a cloud architect, how can you help them achieve this? Uh, they can give you any role folks. Uh, even owner role they can give but they cannot stop the virtual machine now you have to give an option without stopping the virtual machine how can you copy the data different options you can think of as usual i have a possible solution which i would like to share now if you want to think you can pause the video think about the solution or also try to do it yourself and try to provide a possible solution in the uh, comment section so i will also provide my uh, option and we can basically do a interactive stuff like see which one is a good solution basically now before i show you uh, the possible solution a quick shout out i'm starting my batch 8 due to some logistical reasons so i have to uh, postpone from 8th of january to 18th, 15th of january if you are interested uh, please drop me an email for more details now going back so let me show you the video how to basically achieve this um, and i'm going to basically assume devops team is going to give me some owner access that's what i'm going to assume owner is a little broader uh, stuff but uh, the role i will also share what role if you can have you can still be able to achieve this so let me show you that all right we are in our uh, happy new year project 2022 so this is the vm which i'm going to create so everything has been left as default only i have just given as all default is a name in singapore everything else is default so this is a mistake which devops team did they left everything as default even the service account which should not be the uh, case as per the best practice you should never use compute engine default service account so because they left it like this the access scope was basically coming into picture and storage was getting only read only access that's the stuff so let me click on create so once this gets created the problem statement is they are not able to copy it into this bucket folks the one which we had created in one of our previous demo they are not able to copy a data some kind of files into this bucket that is not working basically that's the problem statement now you as a cloud architect how can you basically help them to achieve it now as i mentioned the devops team is ready to give you any role any role now for simplicity reason i'm going to basically show what is the role i have uh, I already have a owner role. So I'm going to show with owner role what I can do. So basically you don't need an owner role as long as you have compute instance admin, service account user role, storage object, creator role, you should be able to achieve this. So I have basically a owner role for simplicity reason. That's it. Now let me just basically SSH into this virtual machine and show you what is going to be the problem statement which they are currently facing so once we are able to ssh into this i'll just basically show you the service account and what and all is the problem basically so if i do g cloud auth list you should basically see it is going to show the service account if i do gs util ls it will show me the bucket details uh, if there's anything in the bucket it can show uh, unfortunately we don't have any objects in the bucket it will show empty now what i'm going to do basically is i'm going to add some i'll add happy new year 2022 into a file demo dot text file and i'll do gsutil cp uh, demo dot text to this bucket now people who have worked heavily on gcp will know this command is not going to work the reason is basically access scope is going to come into picture it's going to show you don't have the necessary access the access scope is coming into picture it is making it as read only so now if i just minimize this go to my virtual machine and show you the access scope here you see storage it is read only that is the reason i'm not able to uh, connect basically now what's the solution for this 
Now you cannot restart it. So if I were to fix it quickly, I would say the easy way is stop the virtual machine, uh, change the service account. That's one way. Uh, then copy it or give uh, storage instead of read only give full access for storage at least i can copy it so the same access scope same service accounts uh, change the access scope that is another option but restart is required but the question is without restarting how can i do it because it's a production system so what i can do is i can use a small trick here so because i'm already a owner so what i will do is so if i just run this command this is currently the service account. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do something against the recommendation, which Google does not recommend, but I have no other choice folks. Uh, I don't want to restart. I don't want to make, make, uh, make major changes, but I still want the file to be copied. So what I do is I will use gcloud auth login. When I do this, basically it is going to show, this is not a recommended thing because it's going to show my credentials to others it's going to be in encrypted format, but it's going to still show if somebody logs into this, but this is not recommended. So I'm going against this. Now, basically I have to copy this. Go. Allow. Copy the token. So paste the token done folks now i have logged in as myself not service account so meaning if i run gcloud auth list you will see basically a star in front of my name my email id now because i am the owner right i can basically run the same command which did not work previously it should work now because i'm an owner so i should be able to copy it done folks job done now, if I basically list it, I should be able to see it. The object should be there. Or if you, because it's a text file, I can use cat command. So demo dot text. I should be able to see the object. Awesome. This is working fine. Now, I mentioned this is against the recommendation because Google does not recommend you to log in with your credentials because it's going to be visible to others who logs into this virtual machine. Now, the requirement was one file. They wanted to copy it. They cannot stop it because it's a production system. I came in as a cloud architect, showed my skills, helped them. Now, what I will do is after doing this, uh, the gcloud auth login, now I'm going to do auth revoke. If I do this, my credentials are going to be revoked folks. Now back to square one where we started, it's only going to be my service account only. So only an ad hoc way of doing it, log in with the credentials, do the job, then run gcloud auth revoke so that user information is going to be removed. So this is a uh, ad hoc way. Uh, but worked for us. So that's the small trick which I wanted to share. So the video, the content is copied here. So the possible solution which I wanted to show here was using gcloud auth login and after finishing it gcloud auth revoke. By doing this you should be able to fulfill this ad hoc request and whenever there's a uh, even though it's a production system at some point of time they are going to restart for some patch or something right at that time they can fix this service account part but ad hocly I was able to help them um, as a cloud architect and I was also able to showcase my GCP skill set basically here. So that's the video which I wanted to share today. Uh, do let me know your approach for handling this kind of question in the comment section. Uh, thank you for watching.